information and whether or not they're in isolation. If in isolation, follow procedures for the particular isolation type. Come in. Hi, sir. My name is Tess. How are you? I'm okay. Perform hand hygiene and wear gloves. Prepare the medical instruments, ensuring they're clean before using on patients. Explain the procedure to the patient. Using a temporal thermometer, place it on the forehead and glide across the hairline. Wait for the reading and document results. You feeling feverish? No. Okay. And which arm did you prefer? This one is okay or the other one? Okay. Is it okay if I take your blood pressure? Yeah. When measuring blood pressure, ensure the patient has been inactive for five minutes. Use the appropriate size cuff. Palpate the brachial artery and ensure that the sphygmomanometer valve is closed. Inflate the cuff. Place the stethoscope on the brachial artery and continue to inflate the cuff rapidly. Release pressure at 2 to 3 millimeters set mercury second. Record at least systolic, diastolic, the first and the last sound. If necessary to remeasure, wait at least 2 minutes. Don't forget to document the results. Fantastic, Sarah. You're doing so great. Next thing I'll be assessing is your radial pulse. Correctly locate and palpate the site. Use the fingers and not the thumb when palpating. Count for 60 seconds. Note the rate, rhythm, and quality. Document the results. All right, Sarah, this little thing is a pulse oximeter. I'm gonna be putting it right here on your forefinger so that it'll give me the figures for your um, oxygen saturation, okay? And it shouldn't hurt. Okay, let's just keep that there. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go um, and listen into your heart and into your lungs. Place the stethoscope in appropriate areas, both front and back of the patient. Listen to all lobes for both inspiration and exhalation. As much as possible, never complete over clothing or the gown. Observe rate, rhythm, and depth. Document the results. Thank you so much, Sarah. I was able to document and record your vitals. Now I would like to assess your pain. Do you have any pain at the moment? Just a little. Do you mind telling me where? Where I had surgery. Okay. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not painful and 10 being very painful, what do you say your pain level is at? 4. Is there anything that makes the pain worse or better? I don't feel pain at the moment, but when I start to move, I feel pain. All right. I've recorded these responses and I'll go ahead and discuss it with the nurse so we can review your pain management. Are you enjoying my videos? If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.